wow, fam. It's been so long. Damn, man. Eh? Busy. It's November now. It's kind of crazy. The time flies. I can't even lie. It's I know. Flies. Time's flying, bro. But yo, yesterday was pretty warm, man. Eh? No, it was. It was. It was. It got colder in the nighttime, but. Global warming. Is... Yeah, that's <laughs> what it is. That is what it is. It is global warming. I feel like we're getting a winter in like. It's going to start like late December. And that's like not a good sign, eh? Because it means it's going to go to like March. It's going to go to March. Be, we're going to have a long ass winter. Do you think it's going to be cold? Like colder? I'm not going to be going outside personally. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not really Yo, a concern I, for me. I don't fuck with winter. I don't either. Like, I feel like it was the winter's not for our people, quite frankly. No, no, no. I, like, I agree. Seasonal I agree. depression exists. Like, when the. I'm not even joking because when the sun goes out earlier, mm-hmm. I'll just be sitting on my bed, lying there for hours at a time, not wanting to do anything. And I'm like, why is this happening to me? And you plus, you're like not motivated to go outside when it's like negative. That's 25. what I'm saying. <laughs> if it's cold, I don't want to go outside. So I'm not getting my sunlight, not getting my exercise. That's I'm just it. like sad in addition. So. But you know what's crazy? People actually fuck with the winter. Like I talk to people, and no, they, no. they choose they choose the winter over the summer. I'm like, I'm like, could you, bro, are you shut okay? your mouth? That's what I'm right. <laughs> so, how about you go outside in a regular outfit and stay there for 30 minutes? Would you rather have the winter or the summer? That's like, what I'm saying. They're not that. They're so stupid. And you know what they say? They're like, uh, you can always take layers off if you're cold. I'm like, if, if you're <laughs> whatever they said. However it goes, you know, like they're like, if it's if you're cold, yeah, put more you, layers on. Yeah. If you're hot, you can take layers off. Yeah. But in the summer, you can't take layers off. And that's their argument. And I'm like... Nah, but yo, even even then, like, I'll still feel cold. I don't know if it's because I have low iron or some shit, but like, mm. I get cold easily than um, I do when I get warm. I think that's a symptom of cancer, I think, actually. Yo, I hope not. Yo, let me not go yeah. with it. Let me not go with it. <laughs> um... I'm yeah. gonna unknock your wood. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you see what's been going on, eh? A lot of uh, shit's been going on the past month, eh? How many people have died? You have P and B Rock. Mm. Um, P and B Rock died. Yeah. Oh, you didn't know that? I'm not even like. Wait, wait. Cut, cut the camera. Cut the camera. <laughs> wait, I actually didn't even know about that. Still, P and B Rock wait, died. Wait, just real quick. Who is that again? I P and B Rock is the, the one who made the song "Every Day We Lit." You can't tell me shit. Really? Remember, I was broke. What? Why would that guy have ops? I don't understand. Because he's in California. Huh. Yeah. It's like that. Bro, it's like, bro. his girl posted a story of him mm-hmm. where he was, and literally hours later, they pulled up. Boom. That's insane. Yeah. Oh, that's a topic for another week, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our but, topic for this week is the man, the myth, the legend. The man, the <laughs> myth, the legend. You know who I'm talking about. Kanye West, a.k.a. Ye. Yeah. Right? But I'm going to still say Kanye because uh, no, that's, that's what I grew up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So no, who calls him? No one calls him Ye. Nah, you, those reporters be saying it, but like they, they'll mix it sometimes. Like They'll be saying Kanye, and then after they'll be like, Ye. And I'm like, no, why? So <laughs> they'll be, be, like, be like, Kanye, Ye. Yeah. The Grammy winner. Yeah, exactly. The publisher of I'm like, bro, shut the hell up. <laughs> so I'm saying, a lot of things have been going downhill for him. Downhill it's spiral. Been, but like, in a weird way, it's been a long time coming. Like, yeah. this, this was just like the peak of mm-hmm. it all. Because you remember... um, Like, it was foreshadowed before. Since. since yeah, since. Like, like <laughs> I was looking up timeline of Kanye acting up. Yeah. And it started from Taylor Swift. The VMA acceptance speech award, 2009, I think. Okay. He starts up to the stage and he like takes the mic. He says, You don't deserve this award. It should have gone to Beyonce. Well, like he, he goes up st- He goes oh. up to the stage, takes the things like, Bro, bro. And then, you know, they were like demanding, like, Kanye apologize. What the hell was that? And that's when, like, did the he actually Kanye apologize? Drama starts. I don't, I think he did. He had to because he was like an up and coming rapper. Yeah. And he was trying to get trashed. But I, I I don't know I don't know if he apologized actually but this definitely <laughs> happened like it's constantly like occurring. He's been doing that though. There is a there's a video like time ago. I'm thinking I think mm-hmm. it's like 2000 before 2005. He was on the Red Cross, uh, bro. Crazy crazy. I'll, I'll pull it up. Put up. He's on the Red Cross commercial. I think Kanye was like um, George Bush doesn't like black people. Oh yeah. Like he just said that. Like he just said that. And then the man the man looked at him like. <laughs> bro he was so confused but kanye has been known for just kind of saying what's kind of on his mind mm-hmm. at that point mm-hmm. and usually when he does that it's like people either tolerate it or they they like you said demand yeah, that but i feel like in the early parts of kanye and this is why i was so surprised i was just so confused because i remember listening to fucking watch the throne the mm-hmm. album had murder to excellence yeah which is literally talking about the difficulties of being like a famous black man or just a black man at all yeah and just like 
the kind of violent circles that like black kids are forced into. Yeah. Like they only have the option. He's talking about of being like a football player, yeah. basketball <laughs> player or a rapper. He's like, what the hell? Like the streets need more people to be educated. Mm-hmm. And then he was like kind of this like pro black force. Uh-huh. And then that's what I th- I made of it when he like went on that George Bush. It doesn't like, you know, he's trying to be like, yeah, you know, he should be yeah, advocate yeah. for his people. But you know, fast forward to now. Hey man. And now and there had to be some sort of disconnect with Kanye. Like he did a little something, something, something went wrong. Yeah. In the past ten years that made Kanye a little uh little silly in the head. A little yeah, you know, a little, a little little unstable. Yeah. You know? Let's talk about like today though. Like mm-hmm. what kinda happened. Like what really happened? Yeah. yeah. And it all started with the he was at, he's at a fashion show. Yes, yes, yes. He had in, Lauren Hill's daughter with him. Yeah, yeah. And, promoting his fashion brand. Yeah. Exactly. And then he wore a white lives matter shirt. Mm. And that's what like mm. sparked controversy. Like, mm. why would he do that? And I'm thinking I'm like, bro, this is Cardi has been doing shit like that. Like, Maybe it's like a marketing, it's marketing like scheme, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Right? But then after mm-hmm. it was um I think Diddy. Wait, what did Diddy do? Like Diddy was like telling his fans, Hey bro, don't wear this merch. Yeah. And Kanye was like, he's being controlled by Jewish people. And then, and then oh, so Instagram, that's where it started. Yeah, so that's, that's where it started. Yeah, like Instagram the, was like, okay, uh, <laughs> you can't be here anymore. Oh, so wait, after you said that Instagram took him down? Yeah. But not like the tweet though. No, no, no. The, wait, the tweet. I mean, you can't take him off of Twitter for what he said on Instagram. No, I'm talking oh, about, oh. I'm talking about in terms of like the repercussions of like what's happening to him now. Oh like yeah, like him losing yeah. his brain. That was from the that. tweet. That was from the tweet. Like the thing on Instagram was the start of like, oh wait, Kanye, why did you say that? Yeah. He's just kidding. He's just playing. He's just playing. Like his typical like old uncle ramblings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the you can I don't know if you want to say the tweet yeah. or we can put it up. Yeah, we'll put it up right here. But yeah. it says something about I'm gonna go Death Con three on Jewish people. <sighs> you know, when he said that, I didn't know till like a couple of days after. To be honest, because I don't really keep up with all that stuff, right? It's mm-hmm. only when my friends told me, I'm like, huh. I'm like, wait, why would he say that? And still to this day, I'm trying to like understand. I don't understand why he said it. You know, like I don't, I don't know. I don't yeah, know. but I, I don't know. Are we missing? I think are we missing something? Like, was there a point where Kanye was like low key anti-Semitic? Like, I don't remember. You know what it is? It's um. So I was watching an interview, and the interviews are mad long though. By the way, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. But like, I was just watching them while I was like doing dishes. And he was explaining how people who he was used to work with were Jewish and they fucked him over. Oh. And then people were saying, like, in Twitter and shit, that he was talking about referring to those people, right? But he came across it so, like, Death Con 3. Like, what, it, mm. like, when you hear death and death. Jewish, like, you know what I mean? It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't work together. No. So, I don't know the way he was trying to convey his message. Mm-hmm. He definitely did it the wrong way. No, definitely. And um, look at the repercussions now, bro. No, he, he got hit with it. Like, I think... He went on an interview. There's so many Kanye interviews. Man, that's what I'm saying. I don't know which one to watch, to be honest. There's too many. There's I too saw many. the worst one. I saw a cesspool. I saw a cesspool of all the people that society has put Which one's the... Uh, it was on YouTube Live, first of all. <laughs> oh, it was done. Yeah. It was... There's no editing. No, it was no, no. <laughs> it was, there was no Twitch. It was on YouTube Live. We had 6 9 Andrew mm. Tate, mm. and Kanye West, I think. And okay, at no. that point, I was like... Okay, it's done. It's done. I was like, I had to stop. I had to delete all my like songs by Kanye. I was like, it's done. It's done. It's done. So wait, what, are they, what were they talking about in the, the interview? I didn't click that bullshit. Oh, you didn't even click I didn't it? Click that shit. I was like, what? I don't want to see this. Andrew Damn. Tate in six nine is like the fucking headliners. I was like, yeah, Andrew Tate six nine. Yeah, I don't know. Like six nine had some minor trouble, and Andrew Tate, we know who Andrew, Andrew Tate, Tate is. Andrew Tate, you already so know what happens to him. That. And got canceled, but oh. yeah, come, come back to Kanye. Though we should mm-hmm. like look back at like the history, you know, and see. Yeah. Um, how this came to be. All right, like we said, 2009, Kanye struts up to the stage, takes the mic from Taylor Swift, says, you don't deserve this award. Crazy. You're not like that. It's That's Beyonce. So crazy. And to be honest, you know, Beyonce's slaying. So, you yeah. know, you know, forget hey. that, but forget that. You can't just, that was like some, uh, what's that, Will Smith type of shit that he did. Oh, the, yeah, 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 basically, yeah. So that was, I would say, <laughs> the first major instance mm-hmm. of, Kanye sanity. Yeah. You know, insanity. <laughs> Kanye sanity. That's a, that's a new and word. And then I made a little timeline. Yeah. Next in the timeline, we have the album Watch for the Throne comes out 2011. So at this point, I'm like, Kanye is not a little, he's not tweaking like that right mm-hmm. now. Because he had the stuff about like, bro, it is hard to be a black man. Do you see the structures put in place to mm-hmm. oppose us? Look at this shit. Can uh-huh. you guys see this shit? Yeah. I'm like, preach, Kanye, <laughs> preach, right? And then we move to 2013. 
he switches to Adidas. This is like another major shift. Yeah. Because he felt that they only wanted him for the name Nike. Who was yeah. With Nike. Nike didn't want him. Like they want his ideas. They just wanted to use yeah. him for the name, right? Yeah. 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 I and I think that. the Yeezy is that an Adidas product. Yeezy is Adidas. I, okay, I see yeah, Yeezy yeah. and so Adidas. So they, yeah, the merch I together. I think he got to influence the design and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. you know, that's why he said. Okay, so okay. he's been with Adidas for a while. This man has been making like absolute bank. You know how much Yeezy's cost. Yeah, like four hundred. And bro. for some little sock ass <laughs> shoes, no, 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 like socks, Yo, bro. I'm sorry. Yo, if you guys like Yeezys, I'm sorry. I should be like, I'm so sorry. I can't, I can't, I, me ugly. personally, I can't. I can't. They have no fashion sense. People, let's not say too much. No, no, no. People who have Yeezys, correct. Back to it. Okay. Now. 2016, you know, this is, I would say, the little biggest outrage since the Taylor Swift one. Yeah. Where bro goes on TMZ and he's like, <clears throat> listen to me, guys. Slavery was a bit of a choice. And, you know, at first, everybody's going to be like, he's onto something. Like, explain yourself. Yeah, explain. Like, like, what? Like, he meant to say that the white man had us trapped. That's what he meant to say. Yeah, yeah. But he was like, no, no, no. We outnumbered them. For us to have been enslaved was really just a choice. And then everyone was just like, you know what's funny is that all the black artists, like, they had Will I Am. Yeah. You had Talib Kweli, people who had done, like, songs with him, were yeah. just be like, hey, shut up, man. Like, this, this is so disrespectful. And then. Yo, Kanye is like, I don't know if you guys watch Blue Nas, but he reminds me of Uncle Ruckus. <laughs> yes. Yes. You know, Yo. you know who he is? He's fucking like Uncle Ruckus and Riley combined. Yo, right? Riley. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Nah, but he just be saying shit though. Like slavery is a choice. Like that was that was the big one. Like come on. Like but I feel like what we also have to address is um in that moment of time, mm-hmm. like he was just like shit talking black people. If that makes any mm-hmm. sense. And in that sense, if you think about it, there was no repercussions for that. Like other than black artists and black people who helped build him up into what he is now, like mm-hmm. being his majority fan base. Yeah. Nothing else happened to him. Yeah. They were just like, I mean, it's just a black man. Talking about black politics, the world yeah, is like you know, yeah. let him like like he didn't he get canceled say. or anything. Yeah, because that's not how the dynamics works in like cancel culture. It's yeah. like if you're black and you be shit talking your own people, like that's that's, not that's our on you. Business. That's, that's on you. Yeah. Other. Um, but I think it's important to know that the way um these organizations are shutting down, they shut down Kanye or whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I feel like it wouldn't be a stretch to say. That I wouldn't say because black people or black opinions influence the economic power positions, yeah. like corporate positions. I don't think there are a lot of, there's not a lot of black sway. In no, there, there isn't. There isn't. There so isn't. I'm saying that like, so whenever it's like Kanye is getting punished more for doing something like that, you have to recognize he is a black man. He's a black man. Yeah, and exactly. That there's not often economic repercussions unless you're like white. And talking about like, if yeah no if you're white like, and you're doing what Kanye and you're doing what Kanye says like then it would be different yeah which seems like weird and capricious as a like standpoint but I feel holds generally true it is true because they don't like think of all the big businesses that are owned right they're owned by majority white people right so why the fuck would they care what mm-hmm. Kanye has to say about black people mm-hmm. you know what I mean that's like that's, that's that's it's literally facts that's yeah. what it is so um. That's why back then when he said all that stuff about slavery, no repercussions. Mm-hmm. I mean, there were repercussions, but they weren't economic. Not economic. Like, he was still thriving. He was still scale, yeah. still making money. That's mm-hmm. At the end of the day, like, no brand deal, like, held on. You chilling. know what I mean? Bro, if you yeah. shit talk, like, bro, it's crazy. It's actually crazy, bro. If you, like, right now, if I were to say if I was famous, I shit talk black people. Bro, I'm still keeping all my businesses, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, but bet yo, bet that, though. You're chilling, you're chilling. You're, you're chilling, chilling. You're, yo, you're chilling. Bro, LeBron James said, yo, I don't fuck with black people. He still has his Nike deal, bro. What would he say that? No, I'm saying if he were to say that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. I was like, no, my LeBron James. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. But like, um, by the end of the day, that, that's still a crazy statement to, to even yeah, say something no, for this. Okay. Also around 2016, mm-hmm. next in the timeline, the little Kanye timeline, uh-huh. um, is where this man started trying to like tour. For mm-hmm. I think the life of Pablo, or just be releasing the new album. Okay. The one I think that's what it's called. The life, life of Pablo of it has like famous good parties in L.A. Bro, what? Okay. Bro, not, I'm not. Hey, I'm not really done. a Kanye fan like that. No, I probably heard it. Like if you play it, you, you've heard. I know you've heard half of that. Okay. Album. Everybody has heard half of that <laughs> album without knowing like the album itself. Okay, so I, I definitely know that. Just not the album. Um, like Ultra Light Beam. We are not Ultra Light Beam. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I know that one. Yeah. yeah. That okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So I know what you're yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He started, like, going on little rants. Mm-hmm. He was like, ah, blah, 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 blah. As opposed to, like, doing his music in 2016. Wait, rants about what, though? I'm seeing, I'm seeing a transcript right here. <laughs> this guy's a whole transcript. Here we go. Stop it. But you know who's the greatest out of all of us? Who do y'all think? The crowd shouts Kanye. Other names. Yeah. He says, nope. Kid motherfucking Cuddy. 
radio. Fuck Ooh, you. I seen that. Oh, have you? I, I remember it? that. You know, yeah. I remember oh, that. Yeah, I'm on my Trump shit tonight is what he was saying. And so wait. He kept saying F you to the radio because they don't be playing a song yeah. as much anymore. I'm not. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it right now. It says, stop it, stop it. Hey, radio, fuck you. Radio, fuck you. Y'all don't want to lose again. A lot of people here tonight felt like they lost. Y'all know why. Because y'all been lied to. Google lied to you. Facebook. So he's been doing this, eh? I don't even know. Oh, there's a lot here. There, there's a lot here. Bro, he, he, he's the same bare shit. We got stuff about Malcolm X. You was lied to by Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Wait, but like... <laughs> oh, I'm looking at it right now. What is... Okay, huh? anyway, I feel like 2016 was, it's, I don't know, I don't know. 2016 shit, was like where... A little tipping point. Tipping point, like, he was dipping his toe into the waters. Yeah, because you know? did he also announce his... What? Running for presidential election in 2016. He, he did run for the president. That's what I'm saying. So that was <laughs> also like, like, Bro. this was the tipping point where, like, I remember seeing a headline, Kanye has had a year in 2016, yeah. like, they put no adjective beside it. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, no, he's done, he's done. Okay. And in 2019, I was reading a lot of articles, and they were talking about corroborations with Chance the Rapper yeah. and Nicki Minaj. I think this is when he released his Jesus is King album. He's going through the, the spiritual sure. phase. Huh? The spiritual phase. He <laughs> called himself a born-again Christian. So we had his, you know, anti-establishment mm -hmm. era <laughs> ending in 2016, roughly, mm -hmm. which became his, for lack of a better word, unstable ranting era yeah and then 2019 is like his was like his christian born again era which i would say he's still in currently yeah you know he still talks about being a christian in the interviews he was saying mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a christian i'm a christian so i think he's still in that phase so i'm not sure what that is but that brings us to, to like current day yeah and now we are where we are so that's the timeline that's I don't know, <laughs> yeah so everything leading up to like what we were saying from 2016 like you said was probably the, the biggest tipping point for for kanye to kind of see his uh, his other views on on certain things, right? Mm -hmm. And then now you see the repercussions, right? So what he said in that tw in that in that tweet, um, I'm gonna go DeathCon three on Jewish people, mm -hmm. bro. After that, you know what was crazy? I don't think I've seen any other that I know of, like right now. I don't think any other person has lost that much amount of money. Like, Me how either. do you lose? It was like 1.5 billion. A bag like that, I don't understand. <laughs> it was crazy. Adidas dropped him. Um, Vogue. Vogue dropped him. He got dropped by a bank. How do you get dropped by a bank, bro? JP, I think JP bro, Morgan Chase or whatever dropped him. No, fam. For you to get dropped by a bank means they actually don't fuck with you. Because banks want money. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's like, bro, who doesn't want money? No, literally, they drilled like blood diamonds. Yeah. Stuff that's like just so unethical. But for them to drop you. No, that means that means they actually don't fuck with you. That, yeah. That's that's very bad. That's like so, terrible. But here's the thing. It's like. What happens now? Where does Kanye go? What is his place in society? <sighs> I saw this little piece that's saying he is like right at home in the black conservative like arena. Because now he's offering like a mouthpiece to like right wing people who mm -hmm. are like racism. You know, it's not necessarily like existing mm -hmm. and people have to pull themselves up by their bootstraps because Kanye have been like. Black people are lazy. Slavery is a choice. Yeah. So now they have like a black ally. Who can they be like? Yeah. You listen to, you this, listen guy? To, this, guy? to this guy. You know He's what I'm conservative. Saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at the same time, it's like that anti-Semitic viewpoint or that's like prejudice that he's holding. They're like, we have some of those on this side. Yeah. So don't even worry about that. Like, <laughs> we'll waive that. We'll waive that. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. No. It's not. It's not looking too good. I can't really I, lie. To be honest, I think what he has to do. I don't think he can come back from this because... Oh, no, no, no. Like, it's no joke, right? No, so, no, like, that's, that's, like, fucked up shit. It's fucked up shit, right? So, the way he came across his point, whatever his point... Whatever he was trying to say in that tweet, yeah. I don't even know. If he even had a point. <laughs> if he even had a point. But whatever he said, he already said it, mm. right? And he didn't apologize, eh? There was a, that's, that's where he like fucked like up, too. Bad husband. You know what exactly. he said? He said... I'm sorry if I made you feel upset. That's all he said? But, yeah. He was like, I'm sorry if I made you guys feel upset. <sighs> but, you know, like, I don't take it back. And then... I, ever told you, I told you about this. What? He compared himself to George Floyd. He's oh, yeah. Like, that, that was crazy. Like, that was, was crazy. I, that, that's what I was like. I have to delete Ultralight View <laughs> off my phone. I've been listening to it like nonstop. It's my number one played song. But this man literally was like, I felt like this is what it feels like to have a knee on your neck. And I was like, bro, you literally said the most outrageous stuff. Like you did this. Those two don't even compare, though. That's what I'm, it, it doesn't even it doesn't even beat his ass. doesn't even make sense to be honest but the family they're suing him oh yeah like yeah. 250 million and i'm like 
they should get that bag. Forbes estimated the amount of money loss he gets from this is like 1.5 billion. And wait, like, is he still no a billionaire way. though? After all that, they said probably not. <laughs> no, <wait. laughs> probably not. <laughs> it's done after that. But nah, yeah. he um, it's it's looking very very bad for him. Mm. Basically, what he's saying in the interview though is like the people who did him dirty were like Jewish people, mm-hmm. and um, and then he also said that how black people don't really work together to own like big businesses. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? That they're all run by Jewish people. That's what he's basically trying to say. Mm-hmm. But the way he conveyed it was what still a, was still wrong. A, have you seen the story of OJ? What happened with that one? It's a no. It's a song by Jay Z, and there's a musical video for it. Yeah, which kind of like it's really funny. That kind of sentiment you're expressing. There's a music video story of OJ yeah. by Jay Z, and it kind of echoes those same sentiments. Like mm-hmm. if you watch the video, it shows like black people and their history with like Jim Crow and stuff like in America, mm-hmm. and then also like includes like Jewish iconography mm. inside it. And I'm just like, interesting. Yeah, it's not, but stuff, it's like. like yeah. Black people need to work, work together, together that kind band of together, consolidate their money, consolidate yeah. their wealth, try to own more assets. But then the ways of getting that message across mm-hmm. always are so weird and icky. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like I'm not even sure. How true is that? That Jewish people own everything. They own more banks than black Yeah, people. they definitely, definitely, they definitely do. And I think, like I said, what Carnage trying to say is we just have to band together, work together. But the way he conveyed it, wasn't really too smart to be honest it's uh economic anti-semitism like it uses stereotypes based on negative perceptions Mm -hmm. of like jewish people to like explain their economic behavior it's kind of weird over here that's weird and i think that's like what kanye is like doing they say like it 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 functions on the idea that all jews are wealthy jews are stingy and greedy are stingy and greedy Mm. powerful jews control the business world like that sense of putting someone on like a little like villainous yeah uh pedestal yeah i don't know i'm looking right now and i'm not seeing any conclusive evidence that jewish people own like all the property and assets in america i searched that up i'm seeing jay-z and the story song i was talking about story of oj yeah like it's not getting good reviews by jewish like cultural groups because mm. he was saying like the same kind of like Kanye views, low key, like like Jay Z hasn't gotten like caught yet. Like yeah, yeah, Jay Z yeah. might be on this train, <laughs> low key. But like I feel like they're both black capitalists, and I don't think Jay Z's called Kanye out at any point for any of this. Nah, Jay Z doesn't. He's like he's been silent. He's bro. He's chilling, bro. I feel like he's agreeing, but like not saying anything. He's like yeah. He's like he's like. They got Kanye, they won't get yeah, me. Yeah, they won't get me. Nah, Kanye, nah, nah. But they're not going to get me. Long story short, like, so right now, you know, Kanye lost a lot of money, a lot of deals, whatever. Can he come back from this? To be honest, I don't I don't think so. I don't, yo, I don't know any man who's lost that much. Like, bro, like, they boycotted him. Like, it's, like, mm-hmm. done. It's done. Like, nobody's going to work with you. Yeah. It's done at that point. Yeah. You know what I mean? And this just proves to show that, like, it's for, like, for celebrities, it's just important to, like, if you have a viewpoint on something, convey it properly like you know mm. what i mean um but don't be saying reckless shit and then trying yeah. to and then trying to take it back and be like, like no that's what to, i meant you have to understand that you have a platform yeah you have a platform like like oh my god like the amount of like young black men who listen to kanye yeah and then they'd be like wait is kanye spitting i have no idea like i yeah. love his music maybe he's right it's like like they're confused almost they're like they, they don't know what to choose <laughs> People like bro shut the hell up you know what i'm saying i'm tired of this man yeah so to recap you're saying that the interview said that he was talking about people who had screwed him over that's what he said he said yeah there's people who screwed me over that were jewish mm-hmm. that's what he said in the interview then, and then he extended that to like an entire yeah like cultural ethnicity right? yeah screwed him over but then you want to bring jewish people and then say like oh the jews run the world da, 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 and then paint them as the bad about, yeah, person yeah, yeah. right he did it so bad, like that. You know what I mean? Like, no matter, even if you're a Kanye fan, like he just didn't convey it properly. Like, let's mm-hmm. be real. Like, it just yeah. wasn't. Yeah, there's other wasn't ways good. to wasn't deal good. with it. Because, like, why bring that up? Like, who cares if they own it? Like, you know. Yeah, what that's I mean? what I'm trying to say. Like, like, like that's that's such an actually good point. Yeah. It's like, who cares if Jewish people own all the property? Yeah. We're saying first of all that it's propaganda because we don't really know and haven't seen any like studies or facts to back up the facts. Exactly. Or the claim that they own all property yeah. in like America. But at the same time, so what if they did in another hypothetical situation? Because what are you trying to say about that? Well, like what are you trying to say? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Why bring them the in? Why them in? That's what I'm saying. There. I don't know, man. I don't know. Even if there was a message, you should have conveyed it better. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But mm-hmm. that's 
Yeah, that's Kanye for you at the end of the day. That's you know, Kanye, that's Kanye, man. man. That's Kanye. Yeah. You know what's funny? There was a celebrity called Zach Falk. Mm -hmm. He made a little tweet yeah. that came true like two or three years after the predict of this. Yeah. He said, y'all better hop off this Kanye hype train before it gets to like the Hitler station. That's what he said. I'll Whoa. put the tweet up. He comes on after Kanye go makes that DEF CON tweet. Yeah. And he's like, don't want to say I told you so, <laughs> but I told you so. And this tweet like blew up. They're like, oh shit, like you actually predicted this. Um. Anyways, guys, this is episode nine. If you guys enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe. Turn on the post notifications for more content. Um. If you guys have any questions or you guys have any um, different viewpoints or whatever, if you guys disagree with us, um, put in the comments below. Uh, let us know what you guys think. And yeah. Deuces.